Hi, this is Kelly Brown, and today we're going to talk about entering an equation in one cell in a worksheet and being able to copy that equation down a whole column so you don't have to, so it applies to all the cells in the column that have data. We have um, a worksheet over to the left here that we see, and we see kind of a ledger going on here. We have a balance of $2,000, we have some expenses, and we want to be able to follow those um, make that equation follow all the way down so we can see what our ultimate balance is. So this is the cell that I want my answer to appear, so I've entered, clicked on that cell to select it. And when I'm doing an equation in Excel, I always have to begin with the equal sign. Then I'm going to use cell references, so I'm going to click in the cell that has the 2000 because my math equation here is 2000 minus 656, $6.56 equals what? So I've clicked in the cell that has 2000, and I see the cell reference for cell F4. Now I'm going to enter the minus symbol because I want to subtract. And I want to subtract the contents of this cell, the $6.56. So my equation here is the contents of this cell minus the contents of this cell, and I want that to appear in this cell. So to make that equation calculate, I hit the Enter key. Here's Enter, and there's my answer. So 2000 minus $6.56 is $1,993.44. So since I have the answer and I've established a pattern that I want to follow down this column, I don't want to have to enter it over and over again. All I need to do is click in the cell that has the answer of the formula that I want to use. And when I click in the cell here, notice I see an answer, but when I go to the formula, formula bar, I see the actual equation. So I click in the cell that has the answer, I go to the double, I go to the bottom right corner of that cell that has the Excel equation in that I want to copy down, and then I double click with my left mouse button. So I click in the cell that has the formula I want to copy, I go to the bottom right of that cell, wait till it changes to a plus symbol. When it changes to a plus symbol, double click with my left mouse button. And then when I scroll down, I will see that that formula has followed all the way down, all the way down, all the way down, all the way down, and it stops at the point that it hits a cell that has no data. And that's what you do.